Oh my God, my eyes are just like on freaking fire. Oh my goodness, ow! Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. Usually I try to wait a little bit more time in between filming my super extra nighttime skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways. Videos, but I got some other things that I really needed to film today and they were skincare related. So I was like, I might as well just do a whole routine as well. Some are gonna be repeats, some are gonna be new. It's gonna be like a little mashup of new and old. The last couple of makeup melters, I just have not liked, right? Like this Origins really didn't take the makeup off. I probably had to use this whole little vial to get the makeup off of my face. And then for some reason, when I used this stripped, my eyes were on fire. I'm debating whether or not I wanna give this another try and see if it does it again. And if it does, then I'm just gonna have to throw this, throw this thing away because I'm not about to be burning my eyes when I could just use this and not burn my eyes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give this another try because I did like how it felt on my skin. It felt really nice. It's just, it burned afterwards. <laughs> it just burned so bad. So I am gonna give this another try. Hopefully it doesn't burn me because I actually really liked this. It felt smooth and creamy on my skin. The scent is trash because I don't like coconut, but you know, to each their own. And then y'all already know, once I'm done rubbing this in, I'm gonna bird box my way to my jewel, well, bird box my way to my julep wipes. Okay, tried and true. I I am ordering some wipes that are reusable because I do want to be a little bit more environmentally friendly, okay, and cheap, because then that way I don't gotta keep buying these over and over again. I can just throw them in the washing machine and call it a day. I am gonna buy some of those soon and hopefully they'll get here before I run out of wipes. I got my wrist gear. I got some form of a head gear. Okay, I'm a little, little bare thing. Let's go ahead and get this stuff off my face. My face needs to breathe. This is what it looks like on the inside. Very pearlescent and pretty. Now if this burns. Count your day. All right, the eyes, the part that I'm afraid of. So far, so good. That whole thing about tubing mascara being able to be pulled off is a lie. The mascara that I used today is a tubing mascara and it is not getting pulled off, right? Like at all. And it seems like I'm probably gonna have some mascara on after I'm done with this because it's just, it's not lifting at all. <sighs> Oh my God, I don't know what it is, but my eyes are just like on freaking fire yet again. And I know it's not the makeup wipes because I use these makeup wipes every single time and never have this issue. I'm like afraid to open my eyes. Oh my goodness, ow! I gotta rinse, I gotta rinse because this is ridiculous. Bruh, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this again because that got all in my eyes and my eyes were on fire, especially this one. Like I wouldn't be surprised if my eyes are just like red. I don't know about her. Maybe it just reacts funny with the wipes. I don't know, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe something in the compounds is just reacting funny with those bamboo wipes. Ugh. I'm not gonna throw it away right away. Once I get my reusable wipes that's not gonna have any products on it, I'm gonna use those with that and see if I still have the same problem. Now, if I have the same problem, then we know not to use her and we're gonna toss her in the trash. The next thing that I'm actually gonna use is another new, well, not another, that was old. We already used those before. The first new product that we're gonna use is actually by First Aid Beauty and this is the Pure Skin Face Cleanser. And this is what it looks like, a little itty bitty thing. Okay, I think I got this in like a mystery Ipsy or something like that. I'm gonna wet my face and then we're gonna cleanse. This is what it looks, ooh. This is what it looks like. It has kind of a pearlescent look as well. I don't know if y'all can see that. It just smells like a cleanser. It doesn't have like a fun scent to it. Gotta make sure we get all the mascara, okay? We don't want no mascara left over. 
Seems like you got most of most of the mascara off. Let me just okay. I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing anything on my towel, so that's a good sign. I think we're good. At least we don't have mascara left. Cause that would suck. Like all that eye burning for nothing. Oh my god. It's like I got an eyelash in my eye now. What the heck? Oof. This is another product that's new to the channel, but not new to me. I've been using it. And this is the Monet Berry Refined Scrub. And this is what it looks like. This stuff smells so freaking good. You see, I've been all up in that. <sighs> it smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face and then we're gonna get into the scrub. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here and get a decent amount. Let me get a little bit more. This stuff has thick, okay, thick exfoliants. So it's not super fine like a doctor scrub or what's another one that I used? That like gray cement looking polish that I used. This isn't nearly as fine as that. Was those. Honestly, I think the bigger exfoliants on this one makes it a little bit more gentle. Since it's like a berry, I'm gonna just do my lips too with the same one. Now I'm just gonna stick my head in the sink and rinse all this off. Nice and exfoliated. Y'all see I got some hyperpigmentation right here and some visitors. This one is really annoying. This is a very annoying visitor. She's huge. She's not paying rent. The next thing we're gonna use, we're actually gonna use it not the way it's supposed to be used. Because, I'm gonna be honest, I really haven't dipped into this. I think I used it maybe once and then haven't touched it again. And I actually got this in my first Fat Fit Fun Box. We're gonna try to use this in a different way than what it's intended. So this is the Deep Sleep Overnight Cleanser and this is by This Works. So it's basically like a face mask that you leave on overnight. But what we're gonna do, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on as a mask mask. Leave it on for maybe like 15 minutes and then wash it off, all right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit right there, put a little bit right there, and then a little bit right there. Make sure the visitor is nice and covered. I'm gonna be back in about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse this off and we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off of my face. I'm actually gonna just shove my head in the sink. My skin feels super, super clean, squeaky clean. My lips feel dry. <laughs> I am gonna put a little bit more of this on. I don't wanna invite Krusty Dusty, okay? No, ma'am. I'm actually gonna try another new product. Now, this one I actually ordered off of flip.com. I will have a link in the description box so that you guys can, you know, follow your girl on flip. I'm gonna be creating some content on there as well and then trying some products and let y'all know the tea. Okay, let y'all know if it's good or not. The first thing, not first, we're like halfway through the thing. The next thing is the Clear Skin I'm Rice Mask Sheet by Tony Moly. Y'all, I love me some Tony Moly, okay? That Marine Serum is so dang blasted good. I ordered another one, I'm not even gonna lie. We are gonna play with that one later on in the video. This is just like a little sheet mask and you're supposed to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. You guys already know, when I do sheet masks like this, I like to put it on my face, let it sit for half half the time and then I come back and I put the essence, okay? Cause this has a lot of essence still in the packaging. I pour the essence over the mask to rehydrate it and then let it sit for the rest of the time. We're gonna go ahead and get into this bad boy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I'm just gonna let this sit on my skin for about 15 minutes and then I'll be back to put the essence on the mask to like rehydrate it. But I will be right back. It's been about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna take whatever essence is left in here and just kind of rehydrate the mask. I'm actually not getting much essence out of here. Hmm. Yeah, I really didn't get much essence out of here. I was hoping that it would have more essence, but it really didn't, so is what it is. I'll be back in another maybe 10 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna do the full 30 minutes. I might just do another 10 minutes and come right back. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and take this mask off. Oof. My skin feels really like cold. <laughs> 
I don't know why, but my skin feels extremely cold right now. Don't know what that is. Next, we're actually going to go ahead and tone. And this is the Oil Minimizing Toner with Salicylic Acid. And this is by First Aid Beauty. I do have my toner from Glow Recipe, but that feels more like a serum. Wait, are you sitting sideways? Now we're gonna go ahead and just tone with this. I do have that Glow Recipe toner, but I don't really like her. <laughs> I don't really like her as a toner. I might just use her as a serum instead because that's the consistency it has. It has a serum consistency. It's so thick. It just, it doesn't give toner for me. It's still nice, but just not as a toner. Now we're actually gonna try something a little bit different. I have two serums from Tony Moly. One is the Water Malone. Do all over serum. And the other one is my tried and true, my moisture boost. Moisture, moisture boost. We're gonna put both of these on today just to see which one we like better, okay? Do we like this one, the tried and true, or do we, do we like this one a little bit better? We'll see. This is the Moisture Boost Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum by Tony Moly. This is that girl. I had a sample size of this. Wait, I can't even get bruh, can't even get this off. Okay, there she is. I had a sample size of this and it was literally amazing. I had to get the full size. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit right there, a little bit right there, and then just a little doop. The serum is literally everything. It has to be my favorite serum thus far. Just feels so good. She's good. And next, we're actually gonna go in with the Water Malone. Water Malone Do All Over Serum. Again, Tony Moly, okay? I, I love me some Tony Moly. And so we're gonna just do like the Instagram people and, and then another doop. Smells so good. This actually smells like watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Water Malone. All right, my skin is nice and serumized, okay? We, we did two serums, so we extra serumized. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with the Paracone MD Firming and Brightening Eye Cream. I've been using her on and off. I've been kind of switching between two different eye creams. I've been switching between this one and then my well people, okay? My people of the well. They're both decent. I think I prefer the well people because it's like a gel and I don't know, it just feels better. But this one is solid as well. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with another tried and true. My old lady cream. Y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> and I've been all up in her. You see that? She's like almost gone. That's why I re-upped. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there, a little bit right there. I'm not gonna lie, the scent kind of grew on me. <laughs> I actually really like how it smells now. I'm just gonna rub that in. Yeah, the scent grew on me. I actually like the way it smells now. Because your girl has a visitor, actually several visitors, I'm actually gonna go in with the Nip Fab Renew. And this is a retinol fix blemish gel treatment. What's nice about this is you can kind of just put it exactly where you want it to go. So you see this visitor right here? Boy, definitely this big old boy right here. And then I'm just gonna kind of pat that in so it's like on the skin in that area. Definitely gotta get this one because this bad boy, it's like one of those pimples that hurt. The smaller ones, I'm just kind of putting like the residue on. Our visitors, okay, they've been given their notice. Time to vacate the premises. And the final things that I'm gonna do is obviously for the lips, okay, the crusty besties. And I'm going in with, again, my tried and true Egyptian magic. I absolutely adore this stuff. I feel like it's really helping me win against the crusty Dusties. Last, but certainly not least, we're gonna go in with our Cobb Cosmetics Lip Oil. Y'all see how much I've used? That bad boy almost gone. I need another extra one. I'm going through this stuff so quickly. And y'all, this is the final face after skincare. I have no idea where I was going with that. Okay, glass skin. My skin feels really good, actually. I was a little bit scared because I did this like a couple days after my last super extreme skincare routine. I usually try to spread them out a little bit more, but this one I kind of did really close together. I was afraid my skin was gonna feel like it was ripping off of my face, but I actually feel really good. I feel moisturized. I feel very calm. My skin feels really good. I think we're okay. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can be become a Febe and I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.